Hello, everyone. My name is Cheng Bo, and I'm a PhD candidate from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. It is my great pleasure to present our paper, "Competent by Rigid: Identifying the Gap in Empowering AI to Participate Equally in Group Decision Making," on behalf of my great co-author. Nowadays, artificial intelligence has significantly impacted decision making. Sometimes. AI will replace human in making decisions, but such process raises concerns about fairness, accountability, and transparency. To address these concerns, previous research has suggested a solution of human-AI collaboration for decision making. Such a collaboration is often about an AI offering suggestions to one human decision maker, and the human is going to make the final decision. However, in real world, many decisions are not made by individual persons, but by a group of people. These people will discuss on the problem and collaborate with each other to make the decisions, which is often called group decision making. Now, a very interesting question will be how AI can participate and effectively participate in such a group decision making. Well, still. They can offer suggestions to the human group to help them make decisions, but considering the growing capability of artificial intelligence, we actually wonder whether AI can be a group member, just being equal to other human group members to participate in group decision making. That means AI can discuss with humans, provide its opinions, and most importantly, have a vote for the final decision making. Thus, in this paper, we adopted a research through design approach to explore a potential future of an equal position between human and AI in group decision making. Specifically, we propose two research questions. First, how do people work with the AI member in group decision making? And second, how do people perceive the participation and contribution of an AI member that is designed to show equal power with them? Uh, to conduct the study, we chose the task of ranking three student essays as a representative case for group decision making. We use nominal group technique to make the group decision making process structured and controllable. The NGT actually includes four steps. First, each group member reviews student essays silently by themselves, and second, group members share their rankings in order. Third, there will be a group discussion. And last, the final group decisions will be determined by votes from all group members. The participants of our study are twenty English teachers, and either an automated essay scoring AI created by us through a constraint with of odds approach is going to participate in such a group decision making. In each section of our study, two participants are going to collaborate with either for a group decision making process. More specifically, on the design of Azer, the scoring of Azer is based on a deep learning model. Its explanation to its scoring is based on Shed, a local explanation method to predictions. We also design a rule for Azer to decide when to express its uncertainty in own decisions, which is basically about whether there is an overlap in the confidence intervals. While we create real machine learning models, the interaction between Azer and other human group members are controlled by a wizard. Basically, the wizard is using a control panel to choose a template in situ for filling information from the machine learning model. The filled templates are then transferred into speeches to allow Azer to interact with participants in various manners. For example, Azer can share its scores and answer questions raised by participants regarding its scoring. Also, Azer can ask questions based on its conflicts with other participants. If interested, audience can、uh, find more details regarding our Wizard of Oz protocol from our paper. So, by asking participants to make decisions with AI, and by analyzing the study process and post-study interviews. We got a lot of interesting findings regarding our two research questions. Let me introduce some of them now. So the first question is how do teachers work with AI? Azer. 
First, our participants were mainly motivated to ask either questions by conflicts. The conflicts can be between themselves and either, and it can also be conflicts between participants themselves. For example, P10 asks Ezer that, Ezer, what do you think of both of our views? But unfortunately, Ezer cannot help to resolve conflicts between humans because it is not designed to comprehend different, differing viewpoints and disagreements within the group, and it cannot adhere to its own established criteria for scoring while maintaining consistency. And second, a very interesting thing is many participants who initially disagree with Azer tend to agree with Azer in their final votings. While the participants actually don't admit that it is Azer that change their minds, but through interviews, we found that the agreement between Azer and another participant may push the disagree participants to change their decisions. This suggests that some human group members may implicitly or explicitly become a supporter of AI in the group. This might be considered as an extension or maybe a more serious case of over-reliance of human AI decision-making by in the, group engineer, uh, in the group scenarios. So our, our second question is how do human teachers perceive AI's participation and contribution? We found that participants perceived the group decision making involving AI was more objective and centered around the essay itself instead of concerning interpersonal relationship. While interacting with AI with a human in the group, P10 suggests that some people were more powerful, louder, and very experienced, and these people would dominate. Uh, the dis discussion, but if AI is in the group, it might be able to break the unbalanced power dynamics in the group. On the other hand, based on our questionnaires, although AI is desired by participants to join their group decision making, our participants somehow feel less heard by either and go less along well with either. And still, many participants perceive either as a assistant instead of a re uh, equal group member to them. Actually, we have found uh, a lot of reasons for such a result. For example, but this and suggests either cannot incorporate others' opinions well. Although we have designed either to change its decisions based on human feedback, our participants actually expect Azer to be able to argue with them and change its own decisions with reasons. It is not just AI accepting human feedback, really meaningful discussion are needed between the participants and AI. Another point is participants from Azer did not follow the discussion progress. They expect Azer to provide something useful when new issues emerge dynamically from the group discussion. However, it is not designed to follow the group dynamics. Last, among 20 participants, 8 participants do support AI sharing equal voting rights with them. The rest participants more prefer it is human that determine the final decisions. And particularly, 5 participants strongly oppose sharing voting rights with AI. These participants provide some very interesting insights. For example, P15 suggested if AI takes certain ways in the essay scoring, it will interfere her own essay teaching. P8 actually considered the influence of AI would be too significant and would be strongly affect people who just believe in data. In summary, our study tests the idea of having an equal AI member in a structured group decision-making process. We are not kind of seeking equal rights for AI. That would be problematic. Instead, we just hope the results of our study can inform responsible design of the AI group member in the future of human AI group. That's all for my uh, presentation. Thank you so much for your listening.